This is a, a topic that you've studied an awful lot, uh, glyphosate. Can you just explain exactly what that is and, and its interaction in our, our body? Yeah, I mean, it's a, very, uh, it's a very simple molecule, actually. It's surprising that it's so toxic. It's a, a, glycine is, a, um, is an amino acid, one of the basic building blocks of proteins. And glyphosate is a modified form of glycine. It has an extra phosphonyl group attached to it. So that sounds fairly innocent, but it turns out that it really messes up everything by virtue of having that extra phosphonyl group. And so one of the things that it does is it chelates minerals. It builds a cage around them, and it makes them inaccessible. And this is in the soil, but also in the gut. And so uh, if you have glyphosate in your food, it prevents your gut bacteria from getting at those minerals. One in particular that I've really studied is manganese. People don't hear a lot about manganese. Um, people don't think of it as a problem, because, but it's a, 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 one of these rare minerals is absolutely essential for certain enzymes in the body, and in particular for the lactobacillus gut bacteria. Those guys really need manganese to be healthy. And so glyphosate keeps the manganese away from them, and then they can't grow well. And when they become impoverished, then all these other bacteria take over the gut, and you get into this imbalance in your gut bacteria. You have all these pathogens that are overgrowing, and the pathogens release toxins, and then you get an inflammation because you have your immune system coming in and trying to fight the war. You get a leaky gut, you get, and you get digestive issues. You can't digest your food properly. And all kinds of things fall apart, you know? So, so many people have gut problems. You know, there's in inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, celiac disease. Um, all these things are going up. And, um, and, and I think it's directly connected to the glyphosate. Glyphosate has actually been patent patented as an antimicrobial agent, so it's essentially an antibiotic. And people have talked a lot lately. They're really getting tuned into the fact that the gut's in trouble. Fortunately, researchers are finally starting to recognize that. And so lots of papers are coming out recently about the gut. And, um, and one proposal is that sort of chronic exposure to antibiotics is causing this disruption of the guts, of the gut. But they're not realizing that glyphosate itself is an antibiotic. And so you could easily be doing it just from the glyphosate that's in the food. Do we know how much of that is used? The glyphosate, I mean, huge how, amount. How much so is used this is the thing, is in, the in fact, you know, when you look at, and this, this is one of the things that I did, when you look at all the, because I was looking, of course, if you're looking for what's causing autism to go up, you've got to find something that's going up. You're not going to find something that's going down. Sure. It wouldn't make sense. And when you look at all the herbicides and all the insecticides um, over time, you know, which ones, none of them are going up like glyphosate is. Glyphosate is the only one that's going up like this, you know, in step with the autism. So it's the obvious candidate, even if you didn't know anything about what it does. It's the obvious candidate out of all the insecticides and, and herbicides and, um, and the fun fungicides, you know. Mm -hmm. It would be the one that you would zero in on to say this looks like it matches. So starting with that, then you start to see what's the evidence, and you find all this evidence. The manganese is amazing because um, uh, autism is associated with uh, inf inflammation in the brain and uh, you're getting uh, damage due to uh, oxidative damage, that kind of thing. And uh, you need manganese to detoxify oxygen. So if the manganese defi is deficient, you can explain that. In the mitochondria, they, the mitochondria, which are the energy, uh, sort, they're the part of the cell that makes the, um, makes the energy for the cell. And they generate a lot of this oxidative damage, oxidative components that could cause damage unless they're squelched. And the enzyme that squelches them depends on manganese. So if manganese is deficient, you're going to have damage in the brain. The other thing is glutamate. Glutamate, uh, I've really looked at glutamate lately. I'm very intrigued by it. Uh, that's so, monosodium glutamate. A lot of people have an allergic reaction to monosodium glutamate. Um, and glutamate more generally, just free glutamate. It is a neurotoxin. So it's actually a, a neurotransmitter, glutamate. And the brain uses it to communicate. The neurons use glutamate to communicate among each other. But they sort of recognize that it's a very it's dangerous if you've got too much of it in the wrong place. It'll overexcite the neurons and kill them. And so there's this whole mechanism that's been worked out where there are these helper cells that grab the glutamate as soon as it's put into the synapse. They, they grab it back out, convert it to glutamine, which is inert, ship it all back to the neuron as glutamine, and then the neuron converts it to glutamate and put, puts it inside these vesicles so that it's a mechanism the body's worked out to keep the glutamate from reacting in places where it shouldn't. You know, lots of things in the... Lots of these uh, uh, molecules that are biologically active have an issue with, with transport because you don't want them to be biologically active when they're not where they're supposed to be working. Um, so it turns out that you need manganese to convert glutamate to glutamine. So if there's not enough manganese, you get too much glutamate, 
That's been shown in autism. Autistic kids have too much glutamate in the brain, too much glutamate in the blood, too little glutamine. So it's exactly corresponding to insufficient manganese. And that's because the glyphosate is chelating the manganese and not allowing it to get there. And they showed it in cows. Cows had, in Denmark, there was a study on cows that showed, um, they looked at all these different minerals in the blood, and they found two that were extremely deficient, cobalt and manganese. So that was a big tip for me that manganese might be an issue with humans. That's when I figured out all this stuff, the lactobacillus, the glutamate, the, uh, the detoxing of the oxidative damage, all of those things uh, depend on manganese. Mm. So that alone explains a lot of it with autism.